Number 10 is called the Tower of God, and it is about climbing towers once, and once you climb to the top, you can achieve fame, glory, power, and anything else you desire in your life. People who are lucky enough get chosen to climb the tower and go through many tests to fulfill their dreams. But some people can enter on their free will, and they are called irregular, and they are feared by many and said to leave madness and change in their wake. The main character's name is 25th Bam, one of the irregulars who wants to climb the tower in hopes of reuniting with his childhood friend Rachel. But as Bam was climbing the tower, Bam soon discovers the perilous path will put him in the crosshairs of fierce competitors, untrustworthy rivals, and terrifying monsters, and he might not make it out alive. The main reason this anime made it on a list is because of its unique action and tests. Number 9 is called Keep Your Hands Off Azuken. And the anime is about first year high schooler Midori Asakusa. Midori loves anime so much and she believes that the concept is everything when you are trying to create an animation. Midori attempted to draw a variety of sketches of her idea, and then she realized that she could not do it alone, so she decided to create an anime club with friends. One of the friends, Sayaka Kanamori, is the first to notice Midoriya's genius, and he decided to produce her film. When the animation project became more aware and one of her classmates named Zubei Mizusaki really wanted to be an animator, they created an animation club to realize the ultimate world exists in their minds. This anime is informative as it is powerful. Number 8 is called Beastars, and this anime is about Cheriton Academy, where a her very old student was brutally murdered. Among the members of the drama club, the herbivore suspicions naturally turn to their carnivore classmates. The prime suspect? Wolf Agoshi. But he wouldn't hurt a fly. Or would he? Will Dwarf Rabbit Heart bring out the beast in him? Or are his feelings for her? Something else? A person cannot understand beauty without a sense of ugliness, and Beastars always gives me a strong sense of that. The anime follows uncomfortable topics for most viewers and never takes the easy way out. While in an often frightening and cruel world, it tells a beautiful story of love and understanding. Number 7 is called Decadence, and the anime is about a world where humans nearly went extinct due to life forms known as Gado, and humanity resides in a mobile fortress called Decadence. Decadane is constructed to protect humans from the Gado threat and it's occupied by gears, warriors who fight daily, and tankers, those without the same skills. Not soon, who dreams of a brawl, encounters Kaburagi, a protection repairman. Their chance assembly will shake the future of this world. This show is a must watch if you love the sci-fi genre because it is an original story with an interesting plot. If you think you had the show figured out after watching the first episode, think again. Number 6 is called Dorodoro, and it is about the city of Hole is an isolated town where magic users go to test their skills by disfiguring or killing its people. After being cursed by a sorcerer, Kaiman was left with the body of a man and the head of a lizard. Kaiman was determined to break the spell over him to do that, and he worked with his associate, Nikaido, to search for the one who made him this way. But unfortunately, he didn't have any memory about who did this to him so he must bite everyone who's magic users and interrogate them to see if they are the culprit. As Kami kills the cruel magic users, will he be able to find out who the man in his mouth is, where the one he hunts is hiding, and return to normal while keeping the revengeful magic users at bay? You should watch this anime because of the action and because every episode of Doro Doro felt very surprising, unlike every other serialized show I've ever seen. Number 5 is called The God of High School and is about Jin Mari, who has declared himself as the most powerful high schooler. Jin's life changes when he gets invited to a tournament called God of High School, where he determines who the strongest high schooler is. Jin enters because Jin was told that if he enters any wish of his will be granted. All the participants are powerful who fight for their hardest because they want to get their fish granted. What awaits them at the end of the tournament? 
A chaotic battle between unbelievably strong high school students is about to begin. You should definitely watch this anime because you love action. Number 4 is called Plunderer, and in this anime, everyone from the world of Alaika is marked by numbers or counts written on their bodies. This number count goes up or down based on how each person lives their life. For our main character, Heinz's mother count went to zero, and then her mother was pulled into the abyss and never to be seen again. But her mother's last words send Hina on a quest to find a legendary hero from the Waste War, the Fable Days. This anime is a must-watch because it is composed of action and romance. Number 3 is called Damaki, Season 3, and it starts from when Belle encounters a girl in the dungeon who was frightened, and Belle didn't think twice about helping her even though she's a monster. But this simple kindness led to many consequences because society didn't accept that monsters would be early human. This anime is worth watching because it's full of entertainment. Number 2 is called Jujutsu Kaisen, and it is about the main character Yuji Itadori who immense physical strength that is something to behold, but he looks like an average teenager, and everyone in school wants to join clubs, but he rather spends time with his friend in the occult research club. One day, the club manages to get their hands on a sealed cursed object. Little do they know the terror they'll unleash when they break the seal. This anime is a must watch because this anime has great character development for the main character and the supporting character, and this anime makes great use of wild setting and many other things. Number 1 on this list is My Hero Academia, Season 4, and this anime doesn't need much explanation. This season is about the villain world teeters on the brink of war now that all for one is out of the picture. Shigaraki of the League of Villains squares off with an overhaul of the Yakuza, vying for total control of the shadows. Meanwhile, Iku gets tangled in another dangerous internship as he struggles to keep pace with his upperclassmen. This anime season watch because in this season you see the character development of Midraya and more. Please like and share if you like the video for more updates. Comment your thought on the video.